Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sir GL and welcome to GLN's blog and math tutorials. For today, we are going to discuss standard deviation, group data. We are going to discuss standard deviation, group data. What are the objectives of this lesson? Number one, discuss standard deviation. Number two, solve for standard deviation, group data. Number one, Discuss standard deviation group data. Number two, solve for standard deviation group data. Always remember, failure is not the opposite of success. It's part of it. Failure is not the opposite of success. It's part of it. What is standard deviation? It is a statistic that measures the dispersion of the data set relative to its mean and is calculated as the square of the variance. The standard deviation is calculated as the square of the variance by determining each data point's deviation relative to the mean. If the data points are further from the mean, there is a higher deviation within the data set. Thus, the more spread up out of the data, the higher the standard deviation. What is the formula for standard deviation? Standard deviation is equal to the square root of the summation of f multiplied by the square of the difference of the midpoint minus the mean over n minus 1, where x bar is equal to mean of the group data, x is the midpoint of upper and lower limit of each class, f is the frequency, and n is the number of distribution. I know all of you are excited. Let's now solve standard deviation. Given age 21 to 25, 26 to 30, 31 to 35, 36 to 40, 41 to 45, 46 to 50, 51 to 55, and these are the frequencies of each class. What's the first step? Find the midpoint by adding both upper and lower limit of each class divided by 2. We are going to add the upper and lower limit divided by 2. 21 plus 25 is 50 divided by 2. 23, 26 plus 30, 56 divided by 2, 28, 31 plus 35, it's 64 divided by 2, or 66, I'm sorry, divided by 2, 33, 36 plus 40, that is 76 divided by 2, 38, 41 plus 45, that's 86 divided by 2, that's 43, 46 plus 50, that is 96 divided by 2, 48, 41 plus 55, that is 106 divided by 2, 53. That's our first step. Find the midpoint by adding both, both upper and lower limit of each class divided by 2. Next one, multiply the value of, X, of F and X. Multiply the value of the frequency and the midpoint. 9 times 23, 207. 8 times 28, 224. 7 times 33, 231. 6 times 38, 228. 9 times 43, 387. 5 times 48, 240. 2 times 53, 106. That's the second step. Multiply the value of the frequency and the midpoint. Next one, find the value of n by simply adding all the values on the frequency. 9 plus 8 plus 7 plus 6 plus 9 plus 5 plus 2. That is 46. Then find the value of the summation of fx, 207 plus 224 plus 238 plus 231 plus 387 plus 240 plus 106. Summation of fx is 1623. That is the third and fourth step. Find the value of n and find the value of the summation of fx. Next step, find the value of mean. By simply dividing the value of summation of fx over the total number of distribution. 1,623 divided by 46, that is the value for the mean. And the mean is 35.2826. So we are going to put the mean here. 35.2826, 35.2826, and so on and so forth. Next step. Subtract the value of the midpoint and the mean. Midpoint and the mean, 23 minus 35.2826. The answer is negative 12.2826. 
28 minus 35.2826, negative 7.2826. 33 minus 35.2826, that is negative 2.2826. 38 minus 35.2826, that is 2.7174. 43 minus 35.2826, that is 7.7174. 48 minus 35.2826, that is 12.7174. 53 minus 35.2826, that is 17.7174. That is the next step. Subtract the value of the midpoint and the mean. Next one, find the square of the quantity of midpoint minus the mean. We are going to multiply 12, negative 12.2826 by itself and so on and so forth. Negative 12.2826 times negative 12.2826. That is 150.862. Next one, negative 7.2826. That is 53.033063. Negative 2.2826 multiplied by negative 2.2826. That is 5.21026. Next one, 2.7174 times 2.7174. The answer is 7.343. 7.3843, 7.7174 multiplied by 7.7174, that is 59.5583, 12.7174 multiplied by 12.7174, that is 161.723, 17.7174, that is multiplied by itself, that is 313.963. That is the Next step, find the square of the difference of the midpoint minus the mean. Next one, find the product of the fre frequency and the square of the difference of the midpoint minus the mean. Multiply this value and this value. I'm sorry. 9 multiplied by 150.862. 8 multiplied by 53.0363. 7 multiplied by 5.21026. So like it goes like this. 9 times 150.862, 1, 1,357.7604. 8 multiplied by 53.0363. The answer is 42, 424.2901. 7 times 5.21026. The answer is 36.4718. 6 times 7.3843. The answer is 44.3056. 9 times 59.5583. The answer is 536.0244. 5 times 161.73623. The answer is 808.6613. 2 times 313.9063. The answer is 627.8125. Find the product of the frequency and the square of the difference of the midpoint minus the mean. Next step, find the value of summation of F multiplied by the square of the difference of the score minus the mean. We will be getting the summation of this part. Summation of F multiplied by the square of the difference of X minus mean. That is 1,357.7604 plus 424.9201 plus 36.4718 plus 44.3056 plus 536.0244 plus 808.6613 plus 627.8125. The answer is 3,835.3265. That is the summation of F multiply by the square of the quantity of x or the difference of min x minus b. Next step, we now have all the values that we need. Next step, substitute the values on the given formula. Standard deviation is equal to the square root of the summation of the frequency multiplied by the square of the quantity of midpoint minus the mean over n minus 1. We will be substituting this one on the part. This one on that part, then the value of n is 46 minus 1. Then 46 minus 1, that is 45. 46 minus 1, that is 45. Then copy this one on the numerator. 
Then 3,835.3261 divided by 45. That is the square root of 85.22947. Then what is the square root of 85.22947? The answer is 9.2320. The value for the standard deviation is 9.2320. Substitute the values on the given formula. Then this one, 46 minus 1. Then 46 minus 1 is 45. Then we divide this 2. 3835.3261 divided by 45. That is the square root of 85.22947. The square root of 85.22947 is 9.2320. The final answer for the standard deviation of this given is 9.230. I hope you were able to follow our instruction even though it is a little bit long. Thank you for watching. Always remember, mathematics will always remind us that in every problem, there is a solution. Thank you for watching, everyone. God bless you and see you on our next tutorial. Bye!